Hello, you little YouTubers. This is your friend, Velma Hagar. And um, here's looking at you, kid. Now, to, well, in fact, I gotta have a swig of that. Salute. Mm. I had something on my mind that I needed to talk about today. You know, there's scripture that says, he that wavers gets nothing from God. And I had someone tell me that that was a very discouraging scripture to them. And I'm like, well, too bad, because you know what? The word is the word. But you know what? They explained something to me that I never heard before. Because honestly, that can be daunting. He that wavers gets nothing from God. Because honestly, we all have to admit there are times that our faith wavers. There are times that we say, is this even going to work? Are you really there, God? I don't feel you. I don't hear you. Are you even there? And I think all of us have gone through that, that kind of thing. In every situation that's important in our life. So does that mean we get nothing from God? I don't think so. This is what, it was my, my son that brought this to my attention. And you know what? Look, if you look up the word waver, it's W-A-I-V-E-R, in the um, dictionary, the word waver means you waive your right to something. You, 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 know, you sign a waiver off, you've cut it off. The other word waver, W-A-V-E-R, is literally to you know, be wishy-washy. Because the word was written in a time of Hebrew, they were written, it was written in Hebrew or Greek in the New Testament. And when it's translated, you lose some of the, you lose some of the, um, the value of the translation or you, lo you lose some of what it really meant. And so, you know, I'm not sure what it really meant, but I'll say this, God knows our heart. And if we, if we have a time of doubt, but we get right back into it, I don't believe that we don't get anything from God. I mean, I have said that over and over, but yet I want to make a correction. I think God knows your heart. And you know, for you sometimes to have a little doubt and to waver a little bit, I think that's normal. But I think if you're double-minded, you know, and you, you really just keep going from one side to the other, that's different. You, then you, you sign the waiver over and say, you know what, this didn't work. That's W-A-I-V-E-R, that's wavering. So it's important that we know the meanings of these things. And you know, sometimes we need to just stop and look words up. You know, I always love that God give, you know, delight yourself in the Lord and he, God will give you the desires of your heart. Have you ever really looked up what it meant to delight yourself? because that's how you get the desires of your heart. Delight yourself. The word delight, when I looked it up, it's to have, to get joy from, to, to just put your happiness in. So then you get the desires of your heart if you're looking to God for everything. Look those words up. You know, we have the doggone uh, iPhone right in our hand all the time. Just push your little button and say, I call Siri, I just say, define the word uh, delight. And it'll go right to Webster's Dictionary and tell you what that word means. And then you put that to the scripture and analyze it yourself. The word clearly says, study to make yourself approved. Study to make yourself approved. And for me, because I'm always on here blabbing and teaching, and I better be doggone sure that I know what I'm talking about when I share it with people. So don't be discouraged by that scripture that says, if you waver, you get nothing from God. Because I don't think God meant it as, as harsh as I've made it sound. I don't think it's that harsh. I do think if you waver, you know what? I'm done with what God said. I'm going over here and do what the devil says because I know it'll work over here. You know, that's wavering. You get nothing from God. But when you just, oh, you know, God, I'm not, I'm not confident today. I'm insecure today. Is this really working? Do you hear me? That's... God expects that from us. That's the human condition, okay? So don't let that scripture discourage you, all right? Now, have you subscribed? Because I didn't get one new subscriber off my last video. That hurt my feelings. <laughs> if you haven't subscribed, push that doggone button, will you? And then every time I do a video, you'll hear a little bell, even though I send it out to everybody when I do one. I just do, you know. And I'm trying to get to a thousand Please help me and share this. Share the videos with other people. And my books, buy my books.
In fact, we're going to read out of this one today. We're going to read out of Hidden Treasures in Dark Places. We're going to, we have time to read one. It's, it's June 9th. This is from my friend Ginger. She's, it's her birthday today. Okay. The just shall live by faith. Living by faith is knowing and expecting that God will do what he says, even when the circumstances look different. Now, see, that's where we don't want to waver off of that. We don't want to ever get off of that. Okay? It is, it is resting in the blessed assurance that he has his hand on you and is directing your path. It is believing mercy and grace shall follow you all the days of your life. I love that part. I love that. That's a delicious scripture. That mercy and grace will follow you all the days of your life. Nothing is more tender and sweet than those words right there to me. It is trusting everything works together for good for you and that no weapon formed against you will prosper. It is believing your walk, you walk in divine health all the days of your life. Your joy is full. Now, you see that my eyes, you guys, pray for my eyes, I'm still struggling, but you know what? I'm happy as a clam and I'm healthy, but I have trouble with my eyes. I have trouble reading and you know, we all have an issue, don't we? And we still look to God. And one of these days, God's going to heal my eyes. And my knees are healed. Yippee! Something happened with my knees, you guys. I know what happened. I believe in prayer, you guys. I believe in it with all my heart. And just as God has always answered every prayer I've ever given him, he'll answer this with my eyes too. But in the meantime, you know what? He's enabling me to do what I need to do. I'm okay. I can do this. But pray for me and subscribe. Buy my books on Amazon, Hidden Treasures in Secret Places, Hidden Treasures in Dark Places. One's as good as the other. They're five star. And go in there and give me a review if you already have them. Okay? All right, you guys. And remember, don't waver. But if you do, get right back on the track with God. Right back on. Don't let yourself stay over there. That's wavering and, and wavering your rights. You don't want to ever waver. Right, a waver to your rights. All right? with God. I love all of you guys, your precious little YouTubers. <laughs> all right, until next time. This is your friend, Velma Hagar, saying, God bless you. <laughs>